and welcome to my blood and honey unboxing. Now, as you can see, mine is a little bit beaten up, so hopefully everything in here is gonna be okay. I can't hear anything sort of broken in there, so fingers crossed. And I realize I might be a little late to the party on this one, but it did just arrive today as I got home from work. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. And sneak peek. Ooh. And first things first, this is our spoiler card this time, which of course I'm not going to look at, but right on top I can see something very exciting. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a blanket, and if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know how I feel about blankets. I love them. It is indeed a blanket, and it's a large size blanket and that's very exciting. I'm very excited. I had a large blanket that I lost to Haruki because he's decided that it's one of his favorite things, so I no longer get a look in on that particular <laughs> that particular blanket anymore. Let me read you what it says. Shelby Mahurin, what you are now is not what you've always been, nor is it what you always will be. You are a snake. Shed your skin if it no longer serves you. Transform into something different, something better. I love blankets. I'm so happy with this. And it's just in time for things to start getting a little bit more chilly. So this is a great start to the box. I am very happy right now. Ooh, the next item is a tea tin. So Fairy Loot has done one of these before and I absolutely loved it. And I actually have multiple loose leaf teas so this is perfect for me to put some of my other loose leaf teas in and it says blood is easily given tears the pain that causes them are not i feel like there might be some punctuation missing there but i don't really care because this is beautiful and like before it has the little what do you call these things i don't know it's like a airtight cap there's probably a technical name for them, but I don't know what it is. Ooh, then we have a very large size candle. It says, La Forêt d'Eu, Blood and Honey Collector's Edition box. Wild patchouli, distressed leather, and fruits. What does distressed leather smell like? Interesting. Ooh, I actually like that. And it's a wood wick, so it should crackle when you burn it. Mmm. I quite like the smell of that, and I am very, very fussy when it comes to candle scents, actually, but that I really quite like. Oh, this is the tarot deck. Well, the Major Arcana tarot deck. This is the item I've been most excited for. They teased this when they announced the box, and ever since then, I've just been so excited to receive this item, and I've just realised that one of my lights isn't on, so... Let me turn that on, and now it's all better lit for you, so sorry about that. Um, this is what happens when you don't wear your glasses. So as I said, these are just the Major Arcana, so it's a 22 card tarot deck rather than a full 78, is it the normal size? I can't remember. If you've been watching my channel recently, you may know that I have recently developed a slight obsession with tarot cards. So I have quite a few decks now and I'm really struggling to open this particular deck. Oh, the gilded edges are so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. My levels of excitement about this are perhaps a little OTT, but to be honest, I don't really care. The backs are just the double-headed snake and the edges are metallic gold gilded. We have the fool, the magician, the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Strength, the Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, the Hanged Man, Death, Temperance, the Devil, the Tower, the Star, the Moon, the sun. Oh, I really like that one. Justice and the world. And I really like the art on those. These are slightly smaller than the standard tarot cards that they do. They're a bit narrower. I really like the size of these. They feel really nice in the hand and love, 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 love. 
very happy. This box is so good so far and I'm not even done yet. Next up we have this little pouch. Oh, it's a pin set. It's a pin set. I love enamel pins, okay? I just, I do. I really, really do. And this is, they're two separate pins, but they do kind of interlock together as well. And they say, love makes fools of us all, darling. The world needs a whit less hate and a trifle more love. So that's very, very pretty, very, very pretty. Next up, we have an art print which is character art, presumably. I haven't really looked at it yet. I'm showing you first. Yes, that will be our main characters, but I don't think we've met this character yet. So I guess we're gonna meet in this book. Speaking of which, it's time to look at the book. So this is an exclusive edition, which I think is exclusive because it has sprayed edges. So we have, ah, uh, okay, so this is the bonus chapter, which is exclusive to the Fairy Loot box. So I'm of course not gonna read this now, I'll read it after I've read the book, but I will keep it in the book. And then, ta-da, this is the book and it has, ooh, charcoal grey glittery edges that is very cool I like that I feel like the actual dust jacket is the same I think I haven't actually seen the dust jacket in person but I'm pretty sure it's the same uh, the end pages are signed the naked hardback is just a plain black with gold lettering on the spine and then we also have a reversible dust jacket, which the artwork is beautiful as always. Now, usually at this point of an unboxing, I would read you the synopsis, but I'm not gonna do that this time because this is a sequel. And if you haven't read Serpent and Dove yet, you aren't going to want to know what the synopsis for this book is because it would have spoilers for Serpent and Dove, book one. But let me just go and get my copy of book one so that you can see them together and then I can read you the synopsis from Serpent and Dove. Okay, so this is what Serpent and Dove looks like and this is what Blood and Honey looks like and this is what they look like next to each other. And I'll show you the backs as well and the spines together and the glittery sprayed edges together which do look very very lovely I will say. So then Serpent and Dove, I will read you the synopsis, bound as one to love, honour or burn. Two years ago, Louise Leblanc fled her coven and took shelter in the city of Cesarine, forsaking all magic and living off whatever she could steal. There, witches like Lou are hunted, they are feared, and they are burned. Sworn to the church as a chasseur, Reed Diggory has lived his life by one principle, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. His path was never meant to cross with Lou's, but a wicked stunt forces them into an impossible union, holy matrimony. The war between witches and church is an ancient one, and Lou's most dangerous enemies bring a fate worse than fire. Unable to ignore her growing feelings, yet powerless to change what she is, a choice must be made, and love makes fools of us all. And this, of course, is the continuation of that story. I think that th originally this was going to be a duology, but I think now it's actually a trilogy. So this isn't the last book in the series. But... I am looking forward to reading it and I'm reading sequels in November so this is pretty good timing. This box was incredible. I always love fairy loot boxes but this one because it's a collector's edition was very special. They always are. I'm very glad that nothing was broken. I love every single item. I feel very excited right now kind of like it's Christmas except it's the 2nd of November and that's it for this one. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more like this from me, then do think about hitting that subscribe button. And I hope to see you here again soon. Thanks. Bye.